Here's another viewer requested video. Jurek Hudjima asked this, could you take the Nashville sound like Brent Mason, etc., and teach us how to achieve such a sound? Thank you in advance for your help. Now that's a pretty tall order. Brent Mason is one of the top guitarists in Nashville, and even if you don't recognize his name, I can guarantee that you have heard his playing sometime over the past couple decades. Here's some info from his website. Brent Mason is one of the most recorded guitarists in history. He is a Grammy Award winner, a 14-time winner of the Academy of Country Music Guitarist of the Year Award, and a two-time winner of the CMA Award Musician of the Year. He has been named as one of the top 10 session guitarists in the world, joining the ranks of Jimmy Page, Larry Carlton, Tommy Tedesco, and Steve Cropper. In October 2019, he was inducted into the Musicians Hall of Fame, and in May 2023 was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame, Nashville Cats. Brent has played on well over a thousand albums and continues to add to this extensive resume. He has also released two of his own albums, produced a number of artists, and holds several credits as a songwriter. Obviously, Brent Mason is at the top of the heap when it comes to the well-known session guitarists from Nashville, but then there's also Kenny Vaughn, Tom Bukovec, Guthrie Trapp, Jeff King, J.D. Simo, Kenny Greenberg, and many others that are also working night and day. Oddly Freed also does a lot of studio work in Nashville. Rather than trying to recreate each one of these players' rigs, what I'm gonna do is put together a rig that any of these guitarists could use in a Nashville session. Let's open up the Pro Control app and start with an empty preset. The one amp that most of these players agree on is the 65 Deluxe Reverb. So for me, that obviously means the 65 Deluxe Reverb Blonde. Some of them have an EQ pedal to start things off. Tom Bukovac swears by it. So we're going to use the EQ7 as the first pedal in the chain. They all have a compressor on their board, so let's use the studio compressor. That'll be our second pedal. Now it's time to look at dirt pedals. Back when the Nobles ODR-1 came out, Tom Bukovac bought a bunch of them at $40 each. Then he sold them to all of his session player friends, so everyone in Nashville was using that pedal. Nowadays, if you can find one of these pedals, it'll set you back around $1,300 due to the high demand. Since the Nashville Overdrive is based on the Nobles ODR-1, this will be our first dirt pedal. The second dirt pedal will be the Royal Tone, which was inspired by the Analog Man Prince of Tone. You'll find Analog Man's pedals on a lot of Nashville boards, including Guthrie Traps. Now at this point, Brent Mason adds a volume pedal, so we'll do the same. So our first five pedals are the EQ7, the Studio Compressor, the Nashville Overdrive, the Royal Tone, and then the Volume Pedal. Now let's click on EXP Assign, click on the plus sign under EXP1, click on the Volume Pedal, you'll get the blue triangle, click on the Confirm, the one parameter is Volume, click on it, and now you have the Expression Pedal set up as the Volume Pedal. After the Volume Pedal, We'll add the two bias tremolo. So now we have six pedals set up. And I'm choosing the pugilist distortion for the third dirt pedal because Brent Mason has a com pugilist pedal on his board. And just in case you need to get some of that vintage 70s Nashville sound, I added the phaser pedal. Now you can get your Wayland groove on. I'm adding the stereo memory delay after the amp. It'll just be used for some sweetening. So that's what the preset looks like. Now the most commonly used guitar by Nashville Session artists is the Telecaster. They might bring a half dozen guitars to a session, but one of them will inevitably be a Telecaster. Fender makes two Brent Mason Telecasters, and they both look like Brent's 67 heavily modded Telecaster. The standard model goes for just over $3,000, and the custom shop version goes for $12,500. I'd love to try one of those out someday. Now, I already made my pedal-by-pedal -pedal adjustments, and I saved this preset as Nashville Cats. It's up on the cloud if you'd like to try it out. Okay, let's demo this preset. 
I'll use my FMT Telecaster. All right, guys, here's how it sounds on the neck pickup. Here's both pickups. And then here's the neck pickup. Put it back on both pickups and I'll kick in the graphic EQ. Tremolo. Now the Nashville OD. The Royal Tone. The Pugilist. The Phase Shifter. Then let's let's test out the volume pedal. Now, if you've never been to Nashville, I would suggest going before it gets way too packed to have any fun. Go to the clubs downtown on Broadway, like Robert's Western World. You will see and hear the most amazing guitar players that you have never heard of. Now, some of them are wanting to be discovered. Others are just simply having fun playing with some of the great guys in Nashville. But I'm telling you, they will play circles around you without even breaking a sweat. I gotta say, it's a really humbling experience. Now let me know if you've ever visited Nashville or if you've ever played there. Hey, try this preset out too, it's on the cloud. 
Let me know what you think about it. And if you're still here, thank you so much for stopping by and sticking around. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, drop me a line here and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Now we'll be having all new content this Friday. You don't want to miss that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, have a great week, and I'll be talking with you again on Friday.